Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is Peep Dioramas, brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Alice, and as always, we're tossing around some ideas, this time about Peep Dioramas. Peeps are that fabulous, squishy candy, and a diorama means that when you're taking a shoebox, and making a scene from it could be a book or something like that uh, to sort of tell the story which is a size 13 shoe so the shoe box i got from him really give, gave me a lot of real estate to work with thank you rich so at the library we've got a contest going on they're, they're now on display what the rules were was that the characters in the diorama needed to be peeps and so um, and basically it had like a book library theme to it so what I decided was that I would do it from Alice in Wonderland I started off with and this I found on the internet was an Alice in Wonderland sort of display so that I could stack the peeps on it what else we got on this one? Okay, so first thing that I did was had the box and lined it. Part of it I did with um, some paper and others walls I did with some material that um, I got from somebody who wasn't using the material and simply cut that out and was able to I hot glued it on. So you basically your first step would be to you know, measure that out well. From there, what I did was I decided which of the peeps I would make characters out of. And here's how it went. And here we are working on the actual peeps themselves, the characters. So what I had done was, this is a little doily that I got an, at a craft shop. Um, I'm using it on top of some of these because I want the, when the peeps are gonna be um, hot glued on, I wanna be able to take this off and we use this whole stand at some point. So occurred to me I could use this for the backing of the Queen of Hearts. So that was just glued on there. I simply cut a piece out to make the crown. And this is going to be the Mad Hatter. This is simply a piece of um, yarn that I put out straight, then wrapped around. This is just the pin to hold it down um, while it was being glued. And over here, this is the beginning of his jacket. It's just a little piece of corduroy that I cut up. I used this ribbon that I got at the thrift store. And I also used it for the ribbon for her hair, for Alice. And by taking the ribbon and setting it along the sides of the jacket. It's got a lapel look there. And again, this is Alice. I still have to, I took the piece of fabric, stitched along the top so that I could draw it in. And I just have to take a white piece of fabric and make her apron. These again, we're gonna be glued down. They're a little, move a little bit, not exactly steady there, but with a little glue when they get on their final places, that'll be a little bit sturdier. So as you may have seen, bathrobe, it's, a, it's early in the morning, but I just wanted to get a uh, little peep at the peeps this morning so I can take a little view of what's happening now. All right, more later on. And now for the part of the deck of cards from Alice in Wonderland, also known as the Queen of Hearts Gods, um, using just a basic chick peep. And I know that each one has its own playing card, 
with them. I had ordered online the miniature cards. I didn't realize how, though I measured how tiny these cards actually are. So we work with what we have. Um, also, the sticks that they carry, I've got um, used a orange that's seen better days. These bamboo sticks are used for actually uh, food and by putting them in there and just using a basic acrylic paint, uh, it was made it very easy to just not having to turn them over, let them dry. Uh, they dried very quickly. And what I did learn in a little bit of looking up some of the background is that with each one of the playing cards having their own suit, for example, the spades, uh, they had different functions and that the ones that had the spade to them, they were the gardeners. Can't wait to see how this turns out. And for the Cheshire cat, oh, this is really hard to figure out where my hands are when I'm first again. Anyway, for the cat, what we've got is a purple peep. And then I just bought uh, simple squares of felt, cut them into strips. That's right. And then I'm going to make these little ears go on, his big smile, and cut up a lot of the um, felt really thin to see if I can get it to actually look like a tail. Okay, so here's the finished product. I've made a couple of changes, uh, added a couple of things, uh, but what you're going to see is that the caterpillar I changed out didn't really care for the way the first one ended up. So when I found a blue rabbit peep instead of the chick, I think it came out a lot better. Added some finishing touches. There you have it. Remember, you can make it as simple as you'd like. A lot of this is just extra fabric um, that someone lent me, a couple of other details that I had in a sewing box. And so here at the library, we were having a great time for our first annual peep competition. And definitely stay tuned for next year's Peak Diorama contest because I think this one has been fun at the library.